for more than a century, China has been pursuing modernization. Over the past decades, unprecedented changes have occurred in China. Now, as a moderately prosperous society in all aspects has been attained, socialist modernization is no longer out of reach for the Chinese people. So what is the modernization that China seeks? And what is the difference between socialist modernization and Western modernization? China has nearly one-fifth of the world's population. The modernization in the world's most populous nation could be seen as a super-scale human development practice as compared with that in Western nations. In China's modernization drive, new models of industrialization, inform itization, urbanization, and agricultural modernization are developing simultaneously. China's aim is to catch up and achieve within decades what took the West centuries to attain. In this town, in Diching County, in Zhejiang Province, the self-driving sightseeing bus fleet has been a tourist attraction in itself. The self-driving bus is part of the town's efforts to turn itself into a smart travel demonstration zone amid the country's modernization drive. In addition, industrial robots, smart control systems, automated production lines, industries have been growing robustly in Diching even amid the pandemic. The Qing is also a county known for its quality agricultural produce, many of which now have their digital ID card. The Qing is also a pilot county for China's new urbanization drive. A 1.4 billion population, one country, this is uh, no mere joke. Chinese modernization with Chinese characteristics instead of hoping somebody else development path. They took a model that was best suited for them at this particular point in time. The modernization of the West has created unprecedented material wealth. However, it has also led to the waste of resources and environmental damage. As China works toward the goal of basically achieving socialist modernization by 2035, the country is seeking a different path in which the construction of economic, political, cultural, social, and ecological civilization are jointly promoted. This panda-shaped solar power plant is located in Datong in Shanxi province. The city once known as China's coal capital, was long plagued by severe haze. In recent years, as China goes full throttle on a green energy transition, Datong has also embarked on a path towards renewable energy development. The Tong is also developing wind and hydrogen energy industrial chains and aims to turn itself into a new energy capital of China. In the city whose air quality was once among China's worst, blue skies are now back. Along the path of development, of the modernization of China, they are taking concrete steps to how to move forward for the harmonization. Because China understands that without harmonization of planet and human, there is no sustainable development.
China's modernization involves not only a drastic increase in economic production capacity, but also a comprehensive social progress featuring coordinated material and cultural ethical progress. The country is seeking a people-centered modernization that is different from the Western model in which capital is the primary driver. In the deep, isolated gorges of Dulongjiang in Yunnan province lives the Dulong ethnic group. It's one of China's smallest ethnic groups with a population of several thousand. Residents here had endured long-standing poverty, relying on nothing but zip lines to cross the gorges. In 2014, a highway tunnel through the Gaolingong mountain was drilled through, ending the town's isolation for months due to heavy snowfalls in winter. Today, all 1,068 households live in new houses built by the government. And since 2013, hundreds of bridges have been built in western China, including Dulongjiang, to replace all zip lines. In 2018, the Dulong people were all lifted out of poverty. Essa modernização com a prosperidade de todos, né? E essa me parece ser a tarefa principal a com qual o Partido Comunista da China se comprometeu perante a população ao fundar a República Popular da China, né? Ou seja, um governo para o povo, pelo povo, do povo. In a little more than 70 years, China has eradicated absolute poverty and realized moderate prosperity, which is seen as a major milestone in China's path to modernization. China's development not only benefits its own people, but also the rest of the world. China is a big market and it's a dynamic market. China is a significant opportunity for global investors, for global corporations. Uh, people are looking from across the world to do business with China. While Western countries' path to modernity is riddled with aggression, colonization, and plundering, China's modernization is a road of peaceful development and will contribute to win-win cooperation. Along the path of development of the modernization of China, China took the necessary steps to expand its cooperation. وتقوم بمساعده الدول الناميه وتمكينها من عمليه التنميه تنميه تحاول ان تستحوذ سين يقوم على الاسس الصحيحه modernity has always been diversified the modernization china seeks is one based on the country's national conditions and independent development its modernization path is different from the western model offering an alternative approach for those who might need it